Hey YouTube, what's good? Welcome back to another live commentary. Today I have the pleasure of showing you the seasonal auto rifle centrifuge. Now, this thing, I tried it out in private match just to get an idea of what it does. It seems pretty cool. In PvP, it's going to be a Titan's wet dream. You just hold W the whole time and the gun just gives you benefits for doing that. Now, until we get the overcharge capacitor and start slaying out, this is really just a basic 450 auto rifle. If you like auto rifles, especially that archetype, you'll find some good use out of this one. But otherwise, I wouldn't expect you to be too excited about what this auto rifle can do. And reloading is definitely not what you want to do. So anytime I reload, uh, mind you, I'm going to think in my head, ah, why would I do that? We need to break through that defense. We got some players on the side, two of them holding hands. It's an odd rifle, so I'm good at 1v1s. And I don't excel against team shots. Okay, we got the little explosion right there. Oh my god, he just went in, flew in, got a two-piece. Let me test out that shoulder charge. Okay, it's gone for a little second. Still gone. Oh, my shoulder charge nerf, man. Let's rotate to the right. So really the goal when using this auto rifle is attempting to get the overcharge capacitor at max. If we... Ah, oh, the reload again! <laughs> if we slide, it's going to build up that momentum. If we sprint running circles, it's going to build up that momentum. But don't worry. It's balanced in the sense where you can't just walk into a wall and get the effects to proc immediately. The best way to think about this weapon is just kind of perpetual motion. We've had that perk for a while now. Oh, don't reload. I'm not finding many primary duels right now. Free kill. Let's go ahead and rotate to the left. Nice. That guy's AFK. Let me sprint. Reload my gun, please. I might have to shoulder charge somebody. <laughs> I'm full time right now, man. Oh my god, I'm full tie-in. Help me, please. I'm in tie-in mode right now. This auto rifle. I'm reloading because I kind of have to right now. Ah, I was slain. Did he heal? Why? Lemon arc. Why is that still doing that much damage? Hello? Dude, it feels like the same as before. I'm going to throw that grenade. I would love to push that, but... I think some of these players are better suited for the close range. Now, in my personal opinion, auto rifles haven't seen too much light when it comes to PvP. They can be kind of hit or miss, really depending on their archetype. They're pretty meta at low skill, kind of like casual lobby. So some of you might find this to be really enjoyable to use. If you try it out and you're... Oh my god! Nice one, dude. If you try it out and you don't really find too much success, don't feel too bad. These auto rifles... There it is, little striker smash. So can I get a two-piece? Do that. Oh, a little double down. Who else was there hiding? Let's go left side. We're good. Let's go ahead and back off. Anyways, as I was saying, they're not usually the greatest competitive weapons to use against pulse rifles and hand cannons. But they do make some f as fun 6v6 guns to slay with. Give me that little explosion. We like to see it. And as you can tell from the gameplay, yeah, of course, we're popping off with it. But we're not really getting to utilize the exotic perk whatsoever. And... I would have to bet that many people won't really get to experience that effect because, like I mentioned already before, it's not really that good at dueling against multiple opponents. It's nice for 1v1s, but after that, like, oh my god, like, it doesn't melt fast enough for me to want to try to utilize the exotic perks, which is a shame. It's a really cool auto rifle, though. I'm actually really enjoying my time with it. 
I think they did a good job. I wasn't a big fan of the Manticore previous season. Oh, the Lemon Arc. Dude, it feels like it didn't get nerfed. That's insane. It almost feels like it got buffed. He got to shoot me faster. Wait, what? That's not right. That's one. That's two. Ah, oh, it feels fun. Let's move in. No, I have to reload. The Lemon Arc. Watch out, teammates. Slay him. Right, so, so for some people that want to mess around with this auto rifle, I got I got a couple suggestions for this build that you, that you can make. Obviously, arc time, you slap on Juggernaut. You know, you get to run at people with an overshield, and if they catch you sprinting, don't worry. You got the nice little Juggernaut shield protecting you from, from some damage, but this thing actually felt really good. Crispy range was kind of irrelevant. Maybe the catalyst can change it, but I liked it for dueling. Definitely fun. Don't you try to tee back, fam? Get out of my face with that trash. You know who you're playing against? Oh, the sniper rifle. Watch out, bro. Bro, it's just final kills too, which is awesome. It doesn't require that much skill to like... Oh, ooh, team shots. Get the perk to activate, which is nice. It's friendly for me. No, man. Oh, I got the double down. Now that's rare. You're not going to see that too often, but I'm happy I got it, bro. I'm happy about that for sure. Oh, dude, I'm actually slain. Dude, I'm actually slain. Oh! I'd be salty too, man, if I was getting spawn trapped by I Frostbolt using an auto rifle. Nice, we got that. Let's keep it going, baby. I'm having a blast using this auto rifle. Nice. Try for the sniper rifle on the flank. Fusion rifle. I'm so happy I did not push that in the end. Now, what is our goal here? Go back to A or what? Holy grenade spam. So many of them. I'm going to flank instead. Nice teams, brother. We win this. We win this. We got it. I'm pushing this. <laughs> Let's go. Well done, squad. I got so many auto kills. I was enjoying this thing. Nice stuff. All right, here we are in PV. I'm very curious to see how this behaves. It does a arc explosion and it blinds targets. The radius seems to be pretty... Oh, let me get that max overcharge capacitor. But the radius seems pretty generous. And the blinding seems to have lasted quite a while. Some of these ads are not getting blinded though. And then you can just constantly keep doing arc explosions. Which is actually pretty cool, honestly, now that I'm looking at it. Okay, that's pretty sick. Oh, I'm not gonna lie. You turn off your brain, you just hold W, and you spray everything. And you blind. Dude, that's so cool! Spawn more, I wanna shoot more. Boom! 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 It doesn't do the most crazy amount of damage, but it's definitely nice.
<laughs> I like that. 